Hey everyone, opening a second browser tab or window in Cypress is a question that people ask again and again and again. I have this little example where if I know that the application is using window.open to open a child window and gets a child window and then use document to write some text into that, I can stop the window.open method using sidestep command and return a fake object, okay? Where I can create a fake document and create a fake write. And so when you click on a button an application uses window open, it calls the stub and I can confirm that the stub was called with expected arguments. Right here you can see the results of this call. And not only that, because we have a second stub document.write, we can confirm that it was really called including the knowledge word. If I don't stop anything, let's say I just completely ignore everything, then my browser would pop a second window right here. Knowledge increases by sharing, not by saving. So at some point you might ask me, can I really confirm something that application is showing in this window? Can I close this window from Cypress? And the answer is yes. I don't recommend it, but you can do it. So here's how you could do this. So let's copy the same code into a real world, real Windows pack. And I'm gonna comment out, but instead of using a stub, I'm going to use a spy. So we are going to let the application open the window. Okay, which it does. Perfect. So once we open the window by clicking, let's get our spy called open. And let's confirm that it was called once. And the first argument is not URL because we're not loading any website. Let's say message window. Okay, we can see the application does open a child window and we know that we can spy on that call, the actual call. Now, when you use window.open, that returns a child window. That's why we can grab the document property. So in this case, we can get from the spy, the first call, return value because Synon records the arguments and return values and we get the child window reference. And before we do anything, let's just maybe wait one second and on invoke close on that child window. So look what happens. Pops a second window, a second later, our spec closes it. Okay, that's great. Now if we have child window, we can get child document body inner text and we can now use it in an assertion. For example, we can uh, you know, expect it to include knowledge just like before. Perfect. So we have access to that body. And I think that's pretty much it, right? You control the window that open, you get reference to actual objects, and then you can use those objects to create your own assertions and even to close the window after you're done.